Hi there. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name's Jeff Wilson. I'm president of Novometrics Research and I'm an associate faculty member at the University of Guelph in Guelph, Canada. This is the first of a series of videos for a new pro program we're developing called University of Life, which grew out of the recognition that there's, there's a real need for some specific learnable uh, life and business skills for people in all walks of life. So whether you're a student trying to figure out how to take your technical skills and turn them into a career that's meaningful for you and creates an income stream that will support your lifestyle, or if you're a faculty member who's uh, working to figure out how to create more fun, more time for yourself, more impact, um, and more opportunities for your students, or if you've left a job or are contemplating doing that, or if you're a manager or leader, um, we found that there's, uh, there's some skills and perspectives that can radically enhance your effectiveness, your income, your fun, and uh, the meaning for you and what you're doing. But they're largely not taught to people who need them the most in a way that they can understand them. This specific video series is going to focus on university or college students thinking seriously about their career, something we call how to create your dream job but the principles are applicable to anybody uh, from any of the other walks of life that, that I mentioned earlier. Our plan is ultimately to tailor this for people in these other demographics, uh, but in the meantime, this will be useful for people who are, as I say, from a variety of different walks of life. So feel free to share this student version with anything you, anyone you might think uh, might be interested in a change to how they're doing things. With a little bit of lateral thinking, they or you, if it's you who who is from one of these other walks of life, will be able to apply that what, what we're talking about here and be able to take it in a whole range of different contexts. My background is this. I first became, uh, I would say, consciously aware of this and consciously, consciously interested in this in the early 90s. I had fi finished uh, my third doctorate uh, at the University of Guelph and I'd reached the point where I thought I should probably start thinking about developing a career. I knew I wanted to be a professor, specifically at the University of Guelph, but there were no jobs there. In fact, they were, they were offering early retirement to about 100 um, faculty members at that time as a cost-cutting measure. For a while, I'd been exploring the idea that what a person should do is to decide what they really want to do and to do that, which is, which is something that a lot of people don't actually think about you know, seriously. So it popped into my head that, that maybe I could create my own faculty position. So I sent out about 100 letters uh, to potential funders across Canada asking if they'd be interested in sponsoring a faculty position. Well, to make a long story short, 14 of those letters ended up on the, on the um, desk of a, a fellow in Health Canada, which is like our, our federal health ministry. He came to Guelph. I went to Ottawa, which is the capital where, where this public health group worked out of, and in about a month I had worked out a co-funding opportunity for a faculty job. With that, I set myself on a path to learn everything that I could about things like entrepreneurship, influence, um, and, and so on. And with not, in not too long, and with, and with major help from friends and colleagues and graduate students and that sort of thing, uh, we built our research group up to about 40 people. I started a consulting business. I wrote a book on the psychology of ethical influence. It's called Brain Shift. And I began consulting on belief changes in industry and government. Everything from conflict resolutions to, re resolution to how to find money to, to those sorts of things. Um, and I began teaching this at, at the graduate level to, um, to graduate students. I left the university about eight years ago to work on my business, Novometrics Research, and I began using the same principles that, that I'd used earlier to hire and, and uh, if you will, coach um, uh, people who we hired, a lot of whom we hired out of the university, um, graduate students, graduates, and so on, to, to help them do something we call how to create your dream job. This is like a, an, an experiential kind of co-learning process, I would say. And, and that process we now call University of Life. Um, and we now use in everything from helping students and faculty in Canada and abroad to helping people in government and business around the world through a process we call network integration, 
um, that I'll be explaining a little later on in another segment. So we know this works and we're looking to scale it through an online community. Um, we'll be providing examples of specific successes that we've had in the past and also real time as though those emerge. Um, here's what broadly what we'll be talking about and the layout of what we'll be doing. And again, this is kind of an emerging process. We haven't done this before. We're not aware of anybody else that's done it quite in this way before. So, so although we've, we've done this, the, the scaling of it, we haven't done before. So what we envision is that this is going to be a living platform, as I say, for mutual experiential learning. I've got a bunch of ideas that will be useful that we've used with a lot of other people, myself, and other people that I've shown how to do this. Our initial plan is for me to start talking about some ideas that I have found will be useful for people, uh, especially for students that are nearing graduate, graduation or who have graduated or in graduate school. And the reason we're starting with that specific demographic group is I'm personally very familiar with that group because I was a graduate student for, for about 14 years, uh, or I was a student for about 14 years. Um, so, I've, so I've been there. It's been a while, but I've been there, um, and we know there's a there's a huge need there, um, particularly in this economy, um, with so many people looking, well qualified people with excellent technical skills who are look, looking to turn that into a career, and there aren't um, necessarily excellent models yet for doing that. Um, and this particular group, students, is is a group that that pretty well everybody in Canada and around the world can relate to and empathize with. So I'm going to be starting mainly in this kind of video format. Uh, we're going to put it on Facebook because that's fast um, and over time as this emerges and with feedback from you and other people um, we'll be probably um, be opening that, this up uh, putting it onto a web platform that sort of thing but rather than, than wait for that to emerge we thought we'll just get started get some feedback and see how things go and a lot part of this also is a lot of this uh, has to kind of um, has to do with taking kind of a, if you will, kind of an entrepreneurial uh, approach to this. So, getting stuff out fast, prototyping, getting feedback, something we call ready, fire, aim, is uh, actually helps with the process. And we've, we've, we know we've helped, helped other people, and it will help you. So, we're planning to change this stepwise um, as we go. Um, we'll be building in some practical exercises. Um, around things like how to decide what it is that you really want, uh, how to find out where opportunities for you really are, uh, how to manage confusion and fear and uncertainty, that sort of thing, how to connect to the people you need to connect to in a way that's actually fun and easy and low stress, and kind of how to stepwise build a plan that, that will work for you. We're starting this as a private Facebook page, but, but we'll, we imagine um, opening that up you know, in, at some point in the future, but we'll let you know about that. Um, Couple of final things here, maybe. Um, this is this is a different kind of learning process. It's not just about getting some new information. It's actually allowing people to go through a bit of a paradigm shift. So we'll be very gently taking you through a process of challenging some of your underlying beliefs about how the world actually works, um, about your own capabilities, which um, which generally we find that people have been sold short on or they think they're, they're not nearly as capable as what they are and will be uh, and also some some uh, little paradigm shifts around how to migrate through the world to create what you want so there may be a little bit of stretch here um, but we'll I guarantee it'll be worth it uh, we'll make it fun we'll do everything we can to make it fun and rewarding and uh, we have a bunch of practical tools to help you through with this the fundamental process is the same for everybody, but the details are different because we're all wired a little bit differently. We all have different experiences and a different way of looking at the world. Um, when we work individually with people, kind of one on one, there's the advantage of um, uh, being able to have kind of real time feedback. In this kind of format, we don't have that. Um, the problem with the one on one thing is that it, it takes. It takes a lot of my time or a lot of time of someone else who's kind of doing this process. So um, we'd like to scale this so more people can be exposed to it and, and, and more people get the benefit. Um, so we'll be trying some different ways to make this um, 
applicable, understandable, relevant, however you look at that for you, um, using some examples from other people, having people share their experiences online, and that sort of thing to make this work as well as possible. With that, we'd like to make it as interactive as possible. Um, and so we're gonna, and also we're gonna have some other people other than me involved in this. One who you'll be seeing shortly is a fellow by the name of Ken Hood. Ken is uh, very experienced in the whole world of mindfulness, meditation, that sort of thing, which we found really helpful for things like reducing anxiety and becoming more creative, that sort of thing. So Ken is likely will, will be one of our first contributors. Um, and we'll also likely be bringing in some people um, that have gone through this process with us in the past. Uh, we'd love, we'd love to have your input uh, in any form you'd like. So f feel free to leave a comment, share this. In fact, we'd, we'd really encourage you to do this. There's no way you can say anything silly or wrong. That's actually one of the main things, just simply to realize that, that there's no reason to be afraid of anything. We just move forward. On the other hand, you don't have to say anything you don't want to either. Um, uh, let me see here. So yeah, I think um, I think that there there are a bunch of other elements to this, but we'll um, we'll get to those a bit later. Um, so welcome again, and I'd be um, um, very delighted to share what I know about this and to and to learn about you as well. And I know there's lots of people in in our little community here that would love to do the same. And so with that, we'll say goodbye, and we'll see you at the next video. Thanks a lot.